when you were watching Corey work, like what was his process coming up with stuff on the fly? Did he, I mean, I was watching the writing wrongs fight and there's a dolly. Sh- there, there are about like 12 dolly shots that last three seconds in that fight. And I'm like, how much time does it take you to do this, to just get this little phrase? It's crazy. He Listen, I think that Corey Yoon was an amazing director. He had a hell of an action team with him, Richard Yoon, D.D. I mean, he had every hitter on the planet. And this is like right before Transporter. So he was he was already on this tear, Corey Yoon was. And, you know, like if he, Corey was very much, if he cared about the project, you got the best version of Corey Yoon where he was super engaged and plugged in. <clears throat> in, in when we were in Czech Republic, we were grinding. It was six-day work weeks. It was a lot of work to do. And we got to Hong Kong. It was we were just on um, the old, uh, sh- uh, no, the old uh, Golden Harvest set, old stages. It's, I don't know if it's there anymore, but um, so he was near home. He had a place close. So he was very relaxed. But he's a master, you know. Like he, he, I think when you've spent so much time coming from the stunt world and coming from like when you're on set, if you're not in the action genre, if you're not in the action business. You're thinking like pool. You're thinking, I got to take one shot, one shot. Corey Yoon is thinking, he's already run the table in his mind. He knows his next six shots. He's put, he's already looking at the other table and said, rack those up. I mean, that's how fast, and that's the, that's the difference between people that come from our background, like you shoot a, shot, a ton, and a lot of the people that I direct second unit for that are, you know, perhaps huge directors. But when it comes time for, when the action's a star, the Hong Kong kind of had it best. You had a you had a director, and then when the action came, he would get up and he would give the the chair to the action director. And in the and then it involved into the action director just direct the whole thing. You know, there was a versions of that. Like Ringo Lam is a great director. I like some of his I like his movies. Uh, one core Y two, but he they needed help with the action. Johnny Toe got it right. You know, but long story short, you know, like I feel like Corey Yoon was one of those guys that you could never back him into a corner. He always had a solution. If there was a problem, if there was if training, okay, cool. He just knew what to do. <clears throat> and for me, that only comes from tons of experience. And I watch, look, I've been babysitting first time directors for a long time now as a second unit director and watch all the mistakes, watch what they succeed at and watch what they make mistakes. And a lot of the times I'm warning them, don't step there. That's a minefield. Don't go over there. And then boom, I'm like, I told you don't step there. You know, but that comes from 150 features and 300 episodes of TV. You know, like it comes from shoot, working on a shit ton of previews too. So you're you have this too, because you shoot so much, and everyone that shoots previews, like it's it becomes second nature. You know, like you know you know what I'm saying. You're 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 proactive, not reactive. Boom. 